Cities are being created by having amazing buildings, buildings that set tones, buildings that set ambitions, and buildings that set an opportunity for others to follow suit. I think with Manhattan Love Gardens, we're going to establish all of that and more. Harry Handelsman is the kind of guy who pops up probably once in a generation in the life of a city and is determined to change the way that things are done. Manhattan Loft was a pioneer of the philosophy of loft living some 20 years ago in the UK. Working as architects and a fantastic team, we were catalysts in locations such as Clerkenwell, Soho, Bankside, Canary Wharf, etc. In my opinion, Harry Handelsman's a hero um, for his work on St Pancras. He's saved one of the greatest buildings in the country, and developed it to a standard that is impeccable. It was a legacy that I wanted to give to London, and that led me to the most exciting opportunity yet in my life, Stratford. What we're developing now is Manhattan Love Gardens. I chose SOM, and my brief to them was, build me the most exciting tower ever built. SOM really has the kind of richest heritage as an architect of rethinking what high-rise buildings are. Harry's vision was a very strong vision. It was to change the way in which people viewed high-rise living in London. So in, in the making of our brief, it was more about people and how they interacted in high-rise living. We're going to be creating gardens that are going to be halfway and two-thirds through the building with fabulous view, but beyond the view, beyond the obvious, beyond what is probably going to the most beautiful sky garden ever created. It's going to give an opportunity for people to come together. I want to create a development that is based on the community. Gardens are appearing uh, in high-rise buildings, even on very high floors, because people are suffocating. <laughs> they just need to breathe a bit. <laughs> Manhattan Loft Corporation's decision to have a large common space rather than individual uh, separate balconies is, is a good decision. And how we created this was something that we wanted to be a timeless element to the building. So when you look in the skyline, you see this carved gardens that have been created from the massing that will sit very uh, nicely in the silhouette of the London skyline. A lot of residential buildings within London or anywhere in Europe would be a concrete frame. We actually took the very early decision to get these beautiful sky gardens to be cantilevered to look at a steel frame and that came at an expense and a cost to, to the developer and, and to Manhattan Loft but it was something that was very important. We didn't want there to be compromise within the structural design, so we actually made everything really go away for the engineering. It was more about how did they actually do it rather than, oh, I see how they did it and it's blocking my view. Your initial expression of the building is that you do see a lot of glass, but as you move around it and you move through the neighborhood, you actually see how the building also transforms to these terracotta panels and create a certain warmth to the building. We carried on the Manhattan Loft brand and looked at the way in which we could develop loft living in a high-rise, uh, something that really hasn't been done to any great extent. And Manhattan Loft is very much about volumetric space. We have a lobby, which is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be the lobby to hotel. It will also be the lobby for the apartment. It's got triple height. It's, it's, it has got a, a fantastic visibility. The good thing about Manhattan Loft getting involved in Stratford is that you know that they understand this city. What's been happening in Stratford is nothing short of a renaissance right in the heart of London. So there's amazing potential with Stratford as a, a centre of a new connected East London, um, an East London connected by green infrastructure. When you look at Stratford and the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park and you think about 500 acres, half of which is going to be parkland. When can you think about anyone who has invested so much money in such a huge amount of parkland? Now that coupled with all the transport links internationally, being able to whisk you just about everywhere you need to go, are going to be very much part of the uh, infrastructure that will become seamless. My brief to my team is, 
Let us use Stratford, or more importantly, Manhattan of Gardens, as a forum to set, to create what I hope to be a revolution in residential high-rise living. Harry is so excited and and inspiring when he talks about this project. It feels like uh, everything's possible. I believe you have to have a vision to make a difference. I think that's what happens.